Okay, let's go inside and we'll check out some things. Uh, let's let's we're gonna do a quick walkthrough of the uh, mechanicals. Get photos. What do you need whenever you do a REO uh, inspection? You need a picture of the sign, the address. You need a picture of the lockbox. And uh, let's go on inside. Let's check it out. Most aerial inspections, you're going to need a picture of the mechanicals. So you want to get up and get in there and get a picture of the water heater, the furnace, the breaker box. You want to do your picture of the uh, streets. At least two street shots, one with the street sign, and then two heading in both directions. And with that, you should get the address, the sign, the real estate sign that you work for. You want to go back in and then you get into the house. You want to look for discoloration on the walls. You want to look for any abnormalities. Take a quick look at the roof. Go back through. And we'll head upstairs and we'll get our photos for upstairs. A couple pictures of each bedroom couple pictures of the master bedroom, a couple pictures of the uh, bathroom. Make sure you look to get get a nice uh, photo of the uh, winterizing decal from the uh, winterizing company. Take a get a picture of that so it's seen. And you really want to make sure and do your inspection and go through and make sure all the windows are locked. They're all closed. And just keep a general eye out for any abnormalities. And when you get to a place that has a lot of space, you want to try to capture as much as you can. You don't want to go through and get 20,000 pictures of a house, but you really want to try to capture if there's any obvious damage or anything of that nature. You really want to try to see it, try to get a perspective, look around, see if there's anything obvious, and from there you can go back in and edit your photos. So let's uh, move on down. We'll head to the basement and we'll get a look at the mechanicals from there. So now that we're down in the basement, you can see this house has had some structural uh, where they went back in and had to do some repairs and shore it back up and they did a really good job. It saw past uh, all the engineering and everything. Get a, get a good shot, one good shot of the uh, water heater, show that it's a gas water heater. Then you want to go back over and you want to get in uh, one good shot of the uh, furnace. A lot of times they're in odd places. I've seen them sideways underneath crawl spaces, hanging up, up in an attic space. So then we can move over and get a quick shot of the laundry surface area. Then we can move on and uh, we can finish out and, and get some other photos and uh, the rest of the space. So let's try to capture as much as you can. Try to stay as wide angle as you can. And then from there, you, you should be able to encapsulate as much as you can of the um, entire property. So when I finish this up, we'll get a couple of shots of the rear of the house, the uh, outside AC unit, the gas meter, any other water lines and uh, we'll come back in the house and we'll uh, finish it up. If there's any notices, take pictures of them from the city. If there's anything that's new, you need to take pictures of. So you need to make sure that you go through and look at everything and get the appropriate shots that you need. And we can finish this out and uh, kind of get an idea of where, what you need. Your agent will tell you. So basically what we really want to look at is um, we want to get to, uh, we want a picture of the uh, AC unit, 
uh, the breaker breaker box you want to get a picture of the sign street photos any street uh, you want to get the address the uh, lock box you want to get the mechanicals um, so you know you want the uh, water heater the furnace you know any uh, repairs as you really want to go through on uh, you know about two shots of uh, every room and let's see what else there uh, and anything else that your agent or your asset management company is going to need from you so sometimes it doesn't hurt to get a couple of extra ones but uh, you really need to just be careful and be safe out there when you're at these homes all by yourself. Safety is a priority. Make sure uh, that you have uh, somebody nearby that you can call in case you need to get you know, assistance or anything. So, Alright, well this will wrap up our REO home inspection. And thank you very much. Have a great day.